In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create your own custom mesh using a background image and tracing the image with vertices and then filling it in with faces and extruding it to make the object 3D. Okay, so I'm going to start with a fresh blender file. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is pop out the side window using in on my number pad or that toggles it in and out or I can click this plus right here to pop this out. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Whoop, ignore that. Look for background images. Click the little triangle at the left. Click add image and then if I had an image ready I'd click open. But I haven't actually gotten an image ready yet so let's go ahead and look for an image. So I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to Google something that I'm interested in. For example, dog. Sometimes it helps to add the word icon at the end and I can look at some images of dogs. So you're looking for something that's um, fairly simple to, tra to trace. Something that has a lot of detail, something like these, would not be as easy and you probably would not be as happy with the results. Um, anything with a nice crisp outline is going to be easier to trace than something without that crisp outline. So if I search for dog without icon on it, like for example, that would not trace well. This would just look like a blob, you know. Okay, let me go back. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the same dog that I made previously in the example that I was showing you, this dog right here, which is this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and save image as. I'm just going to save it to my downloads folder. I actually already have the exact same one named dog, so I'm going to call this dog 2. In Blender, now in my background images area, now I can open that file. So I'm going to go into open. I'm going to find my downloads folder, which for you guys will probably be in Windows C under users, find your name and then downloads. And then I see my dog two right there. I'm going to open the image. And I'm going to go ahead and close up this window right here because I'm not going to need it anymore. Now it looks like nothing happened, but if I go into a top ortho or it could be side ortho or front ortho. I like top ortho though. So top ortho view which is seven on the number pad and then five on the number pad gets you into ortho. Now I can see my background image and just as an example right now I can see top. I'm going to do front. I can still see the image. Right. I can still see the image but I like to be in the top. Okay. I'm going to go into edit mode. Right now I'm in object mode. I can hit tab or I can use this menu. So now I'm in edit mode. I'm going to go ahead and delete this cube. I don't need it. I need it in order to get into edit mode, but I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I just clicked vertices. I'm going to make sure I am in vertex select right here. And then I'm going to start tracing this dog by holding down control and then just clicking my left button of my mouse at each point that has a um, curve. So I could do this really simply and just make that a corner or the more vertices I include, um, the more uh, curvy the finished product will look. And right now I want to put a vertex kind of right here, but if I click my mouse, nothing happens because this manipulator is in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and then just click that. So I'm going to do the rest of this really quickly. I'm going to skip the collar area. I'm just going to boop, boop all the way around. Ah, a little messy. That's okay. All right. And when I get to the end, I'm not going to connect the last two or I'm not going to make a vertex on top of the last one. I'm going to wait and do something a little different. So I have the this vertex selected. I'm going to hold down shift and select this vertex. And then I'm going to fill in in between them with an edge. So I'm going to click F on my keyboard. And now this is a complete closed loop. 
and if I hover over a vertex and type L, everything all the way around is selected. And now I can fill this in with faces using Alt F. And there's my dog with all its faces. Notice that anywhere there's a curve, it creates extra faces. So anything that's straight is a little more, more simple with the faces. Okay. And if I rotate this, I can tell that I'm just totally flat. There's no 3D aspect to this, but I can make it 3D really simply by making sure everything is selected. And if you accidentally like, you know, unselect something, oh, and you're in face select mode, like you have some faces selected, or if you're in vertex mode and you have some vertices selected, but not all, you can just A to select everything, or you can L to select everything. Okay, and I'm going to make this 3D by typing E and then pulling my mouse up and then left clicking to set it. And I can actually do this multiple times, but just one time is enough for now. And then if I go into object mode, notice that you can't see any of those crazy faces. They only show up in edit mode, so you don't have to worry about, you know, combining these together to make it look pretty. It totally doesn't matter. In fact, I would argue that it is a little bit on the other side where you want to keep these faces because there will be times when you want to do certain things. And if you've combined faces together, um, you won't be able to it blocks you from doing certain things with faces. So there we go. Now I have an object that I can use to, um, let's see, to, I have another example here. So I just added the object to a little flattened cylinder and I Booleaned a cylinder to make a hole. I Booleaned a, sphere to make him a little eyeball and then I gave him a little collar made out of a torus. You could also boolean the dog itself into um, your object and um, use it as an inset or you could actually, where'd my other dog go? You could actually just take this doll, dog and make a hole in him and that could be an object in itself. Okay, that is it for adding background images and tracing them to make your own mesh.